Okay. All right, this is a PCEA pump that can be used as a PCA, but PCEA means uh, a uh, patient-controlled epidural anesthesia. And basically the pump, the way it works is uh, we put a bag of neuropin, which is just a, a local anesthetic, uh, in here. And uh, once we close it and we turn it on, the uh, uh, pump has a different mechanism here to prime. Um, and we'll press uh, stop there and it says, says prime. So we'll hit start and it'll ask us, hey, warning, you want to make sure you disconnect it from the patient before you prime. Um, because you don't want to give the uh, patient a huge bolus. Um, oops, we're going back there, so we'll stop that. Go back to prime, and we're going to hit yes, we want to prime. So um, it's telling me that uh, it's, it's not ready because we don't have actually tubing in here. Um, but uh, once we get past the prime, you actually have the uh, local anesthetic go all the way through the tubing. Then you hook it up to the patient and you'll select a protocol and, and is this a new patient? Yes, we're using ropivacaine 0.2% and on here we already initially uh, put these in for epidurals uh, where we have a uh, 200 cc bottle of neuropin and we figured it uh, took 10 cc's to get through uh, the priming and so we have 190 milliliters left and we're going to be running it at 10 milliliters an hour uh, with a maximum rate of 15 because of a, a patient uh, bolus of uh, uh, 5 milliliters every 30 minutes, meaning every 30 minutes they can hit the button and give themselves an extra 5 cc's. Um, that's enough to where uh, the 5 cc's you'll feel it, but it's not enough to get the level up um, uh, to where you're, you're numb and can't breathe. So they can't abuse it. They can't abuse it, right. If they hit the uh, the uh, the button um, before the lockout time of 30 minutes, it just doesn't give them a, a, a extra bolus. So it gives that that uh, that five cc's 30 minutes to work, gotcha. um, and they'll feel that before they can give themselves another bolus. And then if they after each 30 minutes they want to give themselves uh, you know another uh, bolus, uh, there's a an, an absolute lockout of uh, uh, 15 milliliters an hour. So, so they made it pretty much where they can't abuse it at all. Uh, well, your, your one hour limit's 35. Okay. So the maximum, I'm sorry, maximum rate is 15 an hour. In other words, you can start at 10, and you can uh, go up to 15 milliliters an hour. Um, you know, to if you have a real tall person, sometimes they require more. Right. Um, usually about a five foot person is where we start at uh, uh, 10 cc's an hour. Um, at about 5'5", five, five, I usually go up to about 13. Gotcha. Um, and uh, it says we pause too long, so we just uh, shut her off. And it's off. Um, so it's programmable. Um, it can be shut off by the uh, nursing staff just by pressing the off. Uh, and then we can come and adjust it more. They do that sometimes uh, when uh, patients numb to where they can't feel their contractions at all and they need to be able to, to uh, push them. Uh, so they'll hit it and knock it off for 30 minutes or an hour. And, and that usually gives, lets it wear, wear back to the point where they can start feeling their contractions a little bit and then help push. Um, and then, so this is a PCEA. The E standing for epidural. Gotcha. Um, and regular PCA is usually through the IV. It's a, this can be used for that also. But if you do that, you're putting narcotics uh, in the pump, and then the pump has to be uh, secured um, with a bag that's in a locked uh, box. Gotcha. Um, you can't just have a narcotics hanging out here. Uh, you know, it's bad for patients uh, and those that know that it's sitting there unlocked. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so anyway, and, and that, uh, that you can work that out. Of course, the doses would be a lot less if you had uh, like morphine, uh, one milligram, um, 
per cc, uh, your dose would would probably be like two cc's. So they give themselves two cc's. Your uh, lockout time would be about every six minutes. So you could give yourself up to two cc's every six minutes um, uh, with a a total dose of maybe ten milligrams in the hour. Okay. Um, and uh, dilated, of course, the you know you'd have the same kind of fluid situation, but your dose would be a lot less, almost a hundred times less. Gotcha. All right. Sounds great. Well, I appreciate your time. All right, sure bet.